it's far easier to use the internet to engage in this illegal activity and less of a chance to get caught. Right now, detectives say a Boca Raton prostitution ring is busted. The woman accused of running it married to a city policeman. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank is on the scene live with worries about how easy it is to solicit sex on the internet. Evan? And Kelly, tonight, Boca Raton police are investigating whether one of their own knew that his own wife was running a brothel. Tonight, we've also learned that she allegedly used the internet to find her customers. Boca police say they were undercover and watching apartments in this complex near Powerline Road, day in, day out. The complex is filled with families and for at least nine months, as many as a dozen Johns per day. They were allegedly steered to a specific apartment by Denise McCoy after they responded to ads posted online. You think that your kids are safe and that anybody could just walk up to them and if people are answering ads on here for this, who knows what they might do if they see a kid out. We won't name the site, but for $10, anybody can post an ad for anything. Under the escort category for Palm Beach, there are pictures of women, descriptions of services offered, and warnings like, no cops allowed. It's far easier to use the internet to engage in this illegal activity and less of a chance to get caught. Prostitution is illegal, and many of the people on here are posting local cell phone numbers. But former Boca Police Chief Andrew Scott says departments have fewer resources than ever before, and catching hookers requires witnesses and lots of man hours. Frankly, there are bigger fish to fry. Law enforcement is allocating many of its resources related to computer crimes or computer related crimes towards sexual exploitation of children. FDLE says this one caught their attention because of the amount of money that McCoy and her alleged partner, Sarah Marine, made, nearly $100,000, thanks in part to a website that allows customers to order sex as easily as pizza. But busting this ring does raise bigger questions. If this police officer's wife's involved, is the police officer involved? Did he have knowledge of it? And were other officers involved? And these are questions that uh, the current chief's going to have to answer. And we did speak to the current chief, Dan Alexander, and he says that a thorough investigation is going to be done and made public as soon as it is over. We've also learned that tonight the FDLE has told us that uh, the officer, Officer McCoy, did not, was not implicated by his wife when they interviewed her. But again, that investigation is beginning this evening here in Boca Raton, where we're live. Evan Axelbank, WPTV News Channel 5.